Hi, I'm Coach Cheyenne. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My biggest pet peeve is people who don't practice with purpose. Currently, I'm on the first tee box of a golf course. This is what I want to drill inside your brain. Okay, so here's my golf ball. Here's my club. Behind me is the fairway. On the fairway, we have a range of space, depending on the golf course, on where your ball should go. So if you look behind me and if you follow my club, if you look, actually see where the gentleman's standing, that's one side of the fairway. And if you look where that lady's standing in the blue, that's the other side of the fairway. So we have a nice big gap in the middle on where we need our ball to go. So when we are on the driving range, why are we not giving ourselves that same fairway kind of gap? So if you practice with purpose, trust me, you will have a much better experience on the tee box and in golf in general. Let's get started. We're now at the driving range in the parking garage. Put your mask on at this time, grab your bag, and off you are. If it's your first time at the driving range, don't worry, just take a deep breath. There's a massive sign that says that you need to wear a mask when you're entering. On the left-hand side of this driving range is where you can buy your tokens from a person or a specific, some specific driving ranges also have access to where you can tap your credit card at the machine itself. You will just have to go and scope that out. So over here, I'm going to tap. I have my green basket. I have it here hanging on the hook. I then pick the amount of balls that I want and I just go ahead and I tap it right there and you will see that from the dispenser on the left, the balls start popping into the basket. You pick the basket up, put your card away, always hand sanitizer. I sometimes like to just put it over the basket, um, the handle, and you're off. Now you're just looking to find an empty hitting bay. So over here, I see that there's two, so I pick, you know, just to give myself some space. There's a little hook over there. You can see where I've placed my bag. And then if you're a beginner golfer, you're just dumping all the balls in the tray that is provided to you. Before you decide to start smashing ball after ball, the first step always is you have to do stretches. Now here are a few that I am doing which you can copy. I also have a full warm up and dynamic stretch video which I will put at the end of this video. So make sure after you finish watching this, feel free to go and watch that. So right now you can see I'm just trying to loosen my back, my shoulders, my hips, my legs um, because you don't want to injure yourself. So these are a few things that I've started. I have my seven iron in my hand. So after I've done all my stretching, which is, this is all fast forwarded, I then, without a ball, I hit the tee that's on the mat. I'm still warming up, warming my back, warming my swing, going high to high, low to low. And every time I swing, my goal right now is to hit the tee. If I don't hit the tee, that means I'm swinging too fast or I'm doing something incorrectly. So there's no point wasting a bunch of balls. You need to slow everything down and just hit the tee. You then know that you are at least getting some form of contact um, on some part of the ball. Okay, so the warm up is now complete. I can feel my everything's nice and loose. Sand wedge or pitching wedge to start to hit a few very simple light shots. Let's pick my fairway over here. So I will pick right of that blue flag to about the 100 yard marker to the left. The 100 yard marker to the left. Right at the blue flag, 100 yard marker to the left. I'm just going to warm up a little bit with my pitching wedge. Do a few half swings. I want my hands to go here. I don't want them to come back here. So. If you're a visual learner like I am, grab 
four tees from your golf bag. Place them exactly how I have, where you have two tees in line with your golf ball and the other two tees kind of like where your hips or your feet would be. That will be your no man's land. So you want your hands to end there, not there. That is no man's land. You do not want to do this right here where you're ending up on your right and left extreme sides. You want to come back straight and go forward straight. Let's give it a little shot going back straight and you want to head down. The whole part of having those T's by your feet is to remind you, to visually remind you, you do not want your hands to go back like this and flip them over just like that. You do not want to do that. Here is another drill you can try where you have two of your longest golf clubs, which would be my five and six iron. I am laying them flat on the ground. One, that club right there will be in between my feet, reminding me where the ball should be in the middle of my stance. This club over here in front of the ball where I'm creating a straight line, that is where my target line is. Also, that golf club reminds me that my hands need to go back in that direction. My hands do not go back towards what I called no man's land where I had those teeth. If you need help with your aim and your alignment and where the ball should be placed in your stance, you need to go ahead and download my GAPS Starter Guide, which stands for Grip, Aim and Alignment, Posture, and Stance. In the description below, you will find that full guide which you can print out and have in your golf bag at the driving range at all times. I do the exact same drill with the seven iron as well, half swing, holding the follow through, and just keep my warm up going. Drill number three, here we go. You have both your golf clubs on the ground parallel, like railroad tracks, which I mentioned in my aim and alignment video. You have one that's in front of your target line, which is the one I'm aiming at right now, and the other golf club is where your feet are going to be lined up. So you will watch me over here, my G, G for grip, have my grip going, I have my aim and my alignment with both of those golf clubs. I will stand in front of the ball, close my feet, my club goes down, I open my feet, so I'm making sure that my feet are parallel. I probably just realized that I'm too far away, so my posture wouldn't be correct, but P is for posture, nice and relaxed, and the golf ball for stance is right in the middle of my stance. Here we go, another slow motion. What you do not want to be doing is whipping your hands in no man's land on both sides, as we've discussed before. That ball has gone way too far left. Your feet need to be flush with that golf club. See how my right toe is really far back? That ball has gone so far right because that is where I'm aimed. I'm aimed towards that fence. You have to practice with purpose. Have the sticks lined up where you're trying to go. You have a big fairway to work with. Your ball goes in, hallelujah. Great job, success. If it happens to what's happening, like where I'm going way far left or way far right, then you know you haven't made the fairway. Please don't be one of those people who come to the driving range and just crushes driver after driver, not practicing with purpose and also not warming up. Another thing you need to be aware of is the T on the ground, like that T is way too short. How to change the T is you grab the corner of the mat right over here, you flip it towards you, you take the T out and there should be another T right there for you to use. There is different T heights, can you see? So this one it has a three, this one is a two and a half. So the three is for the driver, you pick it back up, you sew it back in. You can wear anything at a driving range. The layers is always good so you can take things off. If you live up north, they also have heaters at the driving range. Let me show you how this specific one works. Heater. It has the time. 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. You push that and then this up here will, will turn on. 
will turn on so it'll keep you warm so don't be afraid of being freezing cold the whole time also most driving will just serve you coffee or warm drinks especially in canada and um and also they sometimes have like seating areas so like if you're tired you don't want to keep smashing balls you can have a quick rest come back reanalyze continue i hope that helped make sure to click the subscribe button and push the like button if practice with purpose helped you See you next week.